Hey there friends, this is Mark. Today I'm gonna to show you how to update the firmware in your new X Mighty Plug Pro. If you're looking for something in particular, use the chapters feature to skip around. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please consider subscribing, I would really appreciate that. All right, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to the new X website, newxfx.com. At the top, you'll see a support tab. Click on that and scroll down until you find firmware and software download. Beneath that, you'll find the Mighty Plug Pro device. Now, I highly recommend downloading the firmware update guide first. I tried doing it without this and was not able to complete the, the update. So download that, take a look at it. It's a process. You're gonna need a little patience. Once you've taken a look at it, go ahead and locate the firmware update itself. Download that to your computer, install it, and you'll get a pop-up window that says device updater. Now on the device itself, locate the USB-C port on the bottom. Go ahead and plug in your cable. Now connect to your computer. Now find the preset select switch on the top, press that down, and on the side, find the on and off button and hold that for about three to five seconds. And then the button should start flashing in a light blue color. Now you're in DFU mode and you're ready to start the update. Now in the device updater, you can see that you're connected. Now you can go ahead and select the firmware file from your computer. Now that you have the firmware uploaded, you can go ahead and start the update. The preset select switch will start flashing orange and you'll get a progress bar within the device updater window. In real time, this will take about three to five minutes to complete the update. Once the firmware is updated, the preset select switch will flash green and you'll get a pop-up window on your computer letting you know that the firmware has been completed successfully. You can go ahead and click OK and then you are all done. I highly recommend doing this firmware update as soon as you get the device. I didn't do that and I ran into a bunch of problems. Mine got glitchy after a few days. So get the device new, do the firmware update, follow the guide and you'll be good to go. That's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a question, leave me a comment down below. And as always, we'll see you all again real soon with a brand new video. Cheers. Thank you all very much.